it's Ivy Slater, and you're listening to Her Success Story Podcast, a show where gutsy businesswomen share their success journey. Hi, it's Ivy Slater with Her Success Story. This week, we don't have a guest, but I want to, and I'm going to be talking to you truly about creating possibilities in our lives possibilities that break down to goals, that break down to actions. It's what I have truly um, lived, the way I've lived my life, not just recently, not, not like staying current of like, this is like really in. It's to me, it hasn't been an in thing to do. I started with working with goals when I created this business 10 years ago. And I started with working with goals because I started with a life that has been based on what do I want? Why do I want it? A life that's based on seeing and believing in big possibility and then making things happen. It was part of myself early on in my life as a dancer when I knew I wanted to land a double pirouette. I needed to see and believe as a young child that it is possible when I was one of the early children in the school, dance school I was in that was on point at a younger age, it wasn't that, well, this happens at this age. It's, I, this is possible. I see it. I see it. I believe it. We create it from there. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about that today. And I'm going to give you some examples as we go along of how I've done this. Uh, so the concept first Okay, concept first is understanding and believing in possibility. And we could call that the dream. I think that's, you know, for some that will resonate. Resonate For some, I'm going to substitute the word possibility and creating what is possible for your life and being willing to see that. When we're willing to create and see possibilities, we can then create the actions that drill down to the goals. So I look at, at, as I was a dancer, many, many things I talk about comes down to different types of dance. So here I'm going to talk about a waltz, a one, two, three. You know, um, a waltz is a beautiful dance. When you watch it, it just flows. That is our lives. We have a choice to live in the flow, to live in the beauty of the swirl of a beautiful waltz. So step one in the waltz as you go into a one, two, three is living and seeing that possibility. Are you playing big? Are you playing that bigger game in possibility? The second step in the one, two is from possibility creating the goals around that. So in the work I've done in the past 10 plus years um, with my clients per se, one thing I've noticed is most people's goals tend to be broad. I'm talking about goals that are specific, goals that really drill down to specifics. What specifically do you want? Many of us get, up, get caught up with, I love to travel. I'm going to travel. Well, that's great. I live in New York City, and travel could be going from New York to Philadelphia, New York to the Poconos. And there's nothing wrong with these things, if that's what you want. If you're thinking Tahiti, then you need to say that. You need to create that specificity in your goal. One of my travel goals is going to Morocco. If I just said I want to travel and I ended up in the Poconos and saying, looked around and said, this doesn't look very much like Marrakesh, I'm not being specific. In the same way, people say, I want to make a lot of money. Some people say, I want to make a million dollars. Well, once you've lived a certain amount of years and you add up everything from your babysitting jobs on through the first 10, 10 years of business, maybe 15, most of us have earned a million dollars easily before we're 40. So we've accomplished that already. What specifically do you want? What is, the, what is the number? Getting out of debt or managing debt is also not something specific. 
having a family, what does that look like? Do you want to be a, a parent of one child or five children? Be specific in what you want. I want a new car. Well, there's many, many different types of cars. I put on my goal a few years ago to have a Tesla. I didn't want a car, I wanted a Tesla. That is happening in 2018 for me because I already put the deposit down, right? Any car, eh, not really a car person. You must create the specificity in your goals. Then from there, you need to create the actions. So goals are achieved with specific actionable plans. Goals are achieved with specific actionable plans, specific actionable steps. So we just can't dream up a dream and wait for it to happen. We can't from our dreams saying, okay, I want a family. And I'll say, okay, I want 2.5 children. Huh? How do I have half a kid? Well, that's what they say on television. I'm going to have 2.5 kids and a BMW in the driveway. Well, what does that actually mean? Is the half a kid a dog? Maybe a turtle. Be specific. And then create the plans to do that. How are you going to have the Tesla, the BMW, the family? the travel plans and what, you're, and what you're achieving. What is your plan of action? In talking about this, I wanna share a story of about four plus years ago, um, my son started going to college out in LA and I knew in my heart of hearts that he would eventually stay here for quite a while. And I didn't wanna be the mom that kind of showed up and went into the Holiday Inn and say, child, son, mommy's here for her visit and let's have a visit. So stop everything you're doing in your life for a couple of days and we will visit. I wanted to be a parent and have that mom-child or mom-son relationship and not be the visitor of his life. So I was at a friend's event and she had us working on our dreams and our goals, okay? This is a friend that we are obviously in very, very much in alignment together. Well, when she had us working on these dreams and goals and then come to the microphone, I took my, I got up to the microphone and I took my little notebook and I said, I have a goal. And she goes, okay, I do, what is it? I said, I'm gonna live by coastal And everybody's like, yeah, you go, girl. And I'm saying, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do it. I was like, okay. And everybody's like, oh, that's so exciting. What are you gonna do? And I'm like, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I created the possibility and I put the goal out there, but now I needed to really start working on that goal. Because I needed to start becoming specific about the goal so I could create some actions around it. So that was the job. That was my next step. So I thought about it. And I was like, okay, let's think specifically what can I do? Well, we started visiting out in California regularly because my son was in school here. He graduated last year. And my fr a friend of mine has a part an apartment in Santa Monica. So we used to stay there occasionally. They were only there part time. And she said, oh, come use it whenever you want. So sometimes we stayed at a hotel, sometimes I use her apartment. I, the action step I took is I started building business out in California. So I didn't know quite what it would look like early on. But I said, okay, let's look through my database. Let's look through LinkedIn and see who I know that is in California. So I, wow, I, got involved in a group called Women at Woodstock years ago, and I was like, there's a bunch of people out there from California. Why don't I have lunch when I'm out there? I'll go out a little early. Oh, look at this, my graphic designer's in California. Gee, I wonder who she knows that she could connect me with. What speaking events are there in the LA, San Francisco, San Diego area? Because to me, once I'm on the West Coast, it doesn't matter where I am, it's a hop, skip, and a drive through LA to have a couple of dinners with my son. 
So even when I've done speaking in San Francisco, I've done it with a stopover in LA for a couple of days. And I slowly but surely started building contacts out here. Whereas I went through my LinkedIn and I was on Facebook, I see somebody congratulate. I was like, oh my God, look at that. I know that person. She just started a new company and got a huge client. I'm going to say congratulations. I knew her back from New York. So I said, hey, congratulations. I see you're now in the LA area. She goes, yeah, I've been out here for a few years. Go back and forth a little bit. I said, I come there regularly. My son's there. We must do coffee or lunch. Guess what I did last year? I met with her. So I continued in the actions. I had a little round table of just education. You pay for lunch, you know, lunch is $35, $40. I'll make the reservation private room and I'm just gonna educate you guys. And we're gonna do a discussion around a specific topic, who would like to come. We had a dozen people at the table. Hmm. Continued in the action plans. Last year, my girlfriend said, I'm so glad you guys are loving LA. I'm so glad you use our apartment and you use it as a home. And the next thing I know, I got mailed the key to her home. She goes, I want you to know you have a home base close to your son in the note. Well, I opened this envelope and I cried. I literally bawled. I was so moved. I said, she's sharing her home with me. She understands how important it is. So um, we, uh, one of the times we had lunch with her and her husband, we're, we're friends, we have lunches, dinners, do to events together, have a good time. And we asked them about real estate. And went, over the last couple of years, they've just shared about the real estate in the area, shared of, oh, their brother-in-law and sister um, rented a place for a month. Oh, you can do that. You don't have to buy something. You don't have to do a full year lease. So my husband and I started exploring it. What can we do? Uh, you'll always hear me say that a lot. If we look at a list of all the things we cannot do, that list goes mighty long. When we look at a list of what we can do and how we can show up, we could really narrow down action plans and steps to take. So lo and behold, this past November, we started looking at a couple of places to rent for a week or two out here this winter, winter of 2018. I, and I looked at my husband, and I said, maybe in 2019 we'll rent for, you know, longer. And he goes, Ivy, see possibility. Yeah, we push each other a lot. It's an amazing thing when you live with two entrepreneurs, business owners, who have been business owners for about 20 some odd years. Different businesses, of course. This is, that's why we're still married. Um, be that as it may, last November we came out here for a long weekend, um, decided to celebrate our anniversary in Orange County, and my son would join us for a weekend. So we did like a five day trip, and he came down and joined us for a couple. And lo and behold, I came early because guess what? I developed business. I had a client in San Diego that I met with, came up to um, LA, met with another client for a day, you know, and then picked my husband up at the airport and we decided to look at, we had scheduled to look at some properties and see what a couple of weeks would look like. Well, interestingly enough, a couple of weeks was almost the price of the full month. If you take it for a month, it was much less expensive per week. We said, geez, a little scratch of our head. Is this the time? Can we do this? My husband's business is based in New York. I could kind of be anywhere. Created possibility, created the goals. I honed it into saying, let's do a month and see what that's like. Can we work that way? How much back and forth would we need to do? Well, today I'm recording it from a home we rented on the beach in Santa Monica, California. Today I'm sharing with you from a place of seeing possibility because it was very important to me. Seeing possibility with a foundation behind it, with the level of importance and drive.
about my family, my kids. From the possibility, I created the specific goals. It started with, I would be by coastal. Then I said, I know I need to be more specific. What would it like to be in California in the cold months? Well, I don't think my husband can be here all winter, so let's be a little bit more specific. What if we started with a couple of, uh, one month or a few weeks? So I went down to a month and then I said, I don't think that's possible for 2018. I got called on it. Always be supported by good people in your life. I got called on my crap and was encouraged to see possibility. Went out and started taking those actions, met with some realtors, looked at properties. And because I came out openly, I learned that we can afford the four weeks. Are you willing to see possibility in your life? Are you willing to see possibility in your business? Please see possibility in your world. Your business and is part of your life. It is one. Your careers are part of your life. We are one. We have aspects of our lives, our family, our careers, our businesses, our hobbies, our exercise, our wellness. And then break it down. Break it down to specific goals that you can take actions with. Specific goals that you can take actions with. Not hypothetical ones, not vague ones. Break it into actionable steps. What steps specifically are you going to take? Identify three. So I'm giving you specific actionable plans in there here. Identify three. And honestly, Share with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, under Slater Success and Ivy Slater. What are you doing? What's your big possibility? What are, are you joining me in Morocco? And guess what? I have not put a date around Morocco, but I did put a date around a trip that I'm looking forward to taking later this year. It's part of the goal. Specific and actionable. Put a time frame on it. And then please, I encourage you to share it with people in your circle, share it with me, and create the action steps that you stay in consistent action with. Consistent action with. That's how we make things happen. That's how we make a difference in our world, in our life. Till next time, we have some great interviews coming up with some amazingly gutsy women. I look forward to seeing you and continuing to pop into her success story with Ivy Slater. Of course, please let me know on the action steps you're taking. Let me know the possibilities you're willing to live and dream with and the goals that are specific. Have a great day.